Good morning, YouTube. Average Youth Minister here, and it's Monday. Hey. First thing I'm doing this morning is I'm actually on Spotify trying to find Christian folk pop. Actually, I'm just trying to like any good folk pop. I don't know why I suddenly got the idea that I like folk music. I don't really know anything about it. I just like cool guitars, so I've been looking for some ideas. And um, I found a couple, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today is kind of listening through them. Here's what I normally do if I wanna find something new. I pick three or four things, put it in a Spotify playlist to play it all day, and then see what sticks. So that's going to be the soundtrack of my day. Uh, unknown folk pop bands. I'm gonna break a couple of copyright laws with this playing in the background, but this is the Turkey Creek String Band. I gotta tell you, I love a jig. I don't know why. Like you start playing a jig on a violin, it makes me happy. been working most of the morning on a lesson for Wednesday night about First Peter and talking about that passage where it says, always be ready to give an answer for the hope that you have. I think of students that we have right now, they're good kids, good things going on, but a lot of them are tired, they're weary, uh, they have the same struggles that everyone else around them has and they have the same problems that the people around them have. And, I just wonder, I don't know, I don't see them at school as much, I don't kind of see their life outside of church and I wonder. You know, do they live like they actually have hope? I mean, that's what we want to talk about. It's like, do you live like you have hope? And a big thing what we're going to look at for this week is why do we have hope? We have hope because God is a great big God. We have hope because God has chosen us and given us a new name. We have hope because God has uh, paid for the price for us on the cross. And, and then so you have all that hope. So the question is, are you living that hope out? And so that's what we're going to be looking at this week. I think I've got that written. Now my normal schedule is on Monday, I will get the whole lesson written, ready to go. Then on Tuesday, I will format the lesson and get it ready to uh, like in a teachable format, which lets me see it again a second time, make any edits. And then on Wednesday, I'll kind of put the final touches on what we're going to, like all the activities I have to do and do pro presenter, which once again means I look at it again. So in an ideal world, I've written it one day, look at it a second day, and then looked at it again the third day. And that's kind of how my schedule works best for me. Sometimes it works that way, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes we have here on Monday, sometimes we're not. But if we are on Mondays, that's normally how it all works. Okay, so I was all ready to do some of my Maker Fest stuff that I gotta do today. I gotta print some stuff, make sure I got everything printed out. And I pulled out the CD-ROM here that I was gonna look at and stick in my computer and see what I had on it. And then I remembered, I have a new computer. And there is no CD-ROM anywhere on it. Yeah, okay, that's my plan. I don't know, just kinda messed with my brain a little bit. And I knew it didn't have one. All right, I knew it didn't have one, but I didn't really think it was that big a deal. Then I got to thinking, you know what? I get stuff all the time that has a CD component. What was I thinking not getting a CD-ROM on this computer? Who knows? Looks like external CD-ROM for me. As always, Board Game Club is one of those things that I like to do, and at the same time, I don't really like to do. Actually, Board Games Club is just one of those things that I never like to do beforehand. Like, I never like, told me I had to go do it, I'm gonna roll my eyes and stuff. And then when I'm done, I'm so glad I went. I'm so glad I got a chance to hang out with new students, meet some new kids, uh, just to get to talk about their lives and who they are. And so I gotta get set up, I gotta pull the board games out, get the, all that stuff done. Yeehaw, here we go. It is cold here today, I am freezing. I guess so, since I don't have a CD-ROM drive, I'm gonna find something else productive to do. I'm gonna rearrange my office. Uh, I have this big plan to make multiple monitors and when people come in and wanna to talk to me in my office, I don't wanna have a big wall of monitors between me and them. So I'm gonna turn my computer desk and my desk around to the wall so then I can turn sideways and talk to them. We'll see how that works. This is what happens when you have your desk in the same place for like six years or hasn't been that long, two or three years. You just get this big pile of cords. Fun, here we go. Uh, 
Now, quick side note, you know how I know I have a great senior pastor? Because this kind of thing, this big pile of cords down here on my floor that I'm cleaning up drives him insane, but he's never once said, hey, why don't you clean that up? So, you know, it's just great. That thing weighs like a thousand pounds, I promise. I am so weak. All right, this looks like it's in a really weird place and it is, but see behind it, there's a door. And that's actually a door to the women's restroom. Uh, it's locked, so I can't go in, but people could come in here from my office, so it's just better to have something that closes it off. But anyway, here's the difference. A little bit more space. Still haven't cleaned that up. That'll come next. All right, so I'm heading home. We went to board game club. My fearless helper is there, and my board game helper, Nathan, is recording for me. But it was a pretty good day. They added a new club and a new club that uh, took a lot of different people out. So really kind of helped the whole board game club. I was able to teach Formula D. It's a really complicated little, well not complicated, but it's a long game, longer game than we've done. Uh, it's a racing game. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And Nathan played, what'd you play, Nate? Um, I played DC Deck Builder. Nathan played DC Deck Builder and played a little bit of Dixit for just a second. Ethan, who is my helper, he taught uh, card game ERS and then played some illustration so we got to play a lot of games uh, it's starting to kind of round into shape a little bit now I'll say that next week's gonna be crazy but uh, but now I get to go home so that's where I'm heading bye mm, 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 eat, 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 eat.